that I hit the wrong button. But this was the card that was up. I spent a little time helping my, my boy get up. Lay down. Right? Um, it was interesting. I, I'm happy Valentine's Day, by the way. We get the opportunity to choose to be happy today. Or, no, don't scratch the chair. Or we can be miserable. Right? Don't scratch the chair. It was just refinished for you. Right? Don't blow it. My landlord finished this chair for him because it was all scratched here. Well, actually, because he sat on my chair and broke it, so he tried to fix it. And then he tried to, you know, do this, and like is scratching it all up again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I have a feeling that Liger represents um, a father figure. Yeah, a very uh, timid, shy kind of a... That's how I feel he figured, he, he, he represents. Interesting. Um, the song, there's no chance with us. There's a problem. Uh, I was wondering if... Uh, it was going to come up, and the first message that we get, by the way, it's the vampire deck that would, no, stop scratching. Um, the vampire deck, um, I saw it. Uh, it has to do with the, you know, lies, deception, manipulation, um, truth being uncovered. People, you know what, people? Let your kids do what they want to do on their own. Just stay out of it. Stop fucking around with people's lives, you know? You already got in there and made enough of a mess. You don't need to continue to do it, so stop. Just stop, Right? Um, and that's just, and you know who you are. It's, 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 it's enough already. You know, we already know. So what's going on here right now is, um, upstart, tumult, revolution. Okay. 33. We're definitely talking about our ascended masters working with us. The number 33 would be that we have clearly a strong and clear connection to, to one or more ascended masters and they have heard our prayers and they have already answered them. So keep talking to them. Keep the communication lines open because they're helping you with this present situation. Okay? Um, that's what's going on here. Now we look at this, this little vampire. And this one is, uh, this one is, is not going to keep silent. They've been silent. Right? They've been shown that there's a rightful order or, or rightful, you know, this is the way that things should be maintained. Um, they, they've not been allowed to question authority. Um, they have, even if they did speak up, they were, they were held back when they did speak up. They were very re re polite and you know, be respectful to your elders, but they're trying to find a, a new way of approaching a situation. And when they do that, when you try and, and attack an old situation, people look at you and they think you're dangerous, right? They consider you, um, an upstart, a, a, a rebellion, a, a rebel, right? So... And you've been quiet. You haven't been saying anything. You've been trying to be respectful. You've been trying to do, you know, do it the right way, approaching it from a, a place of love. Um, but we all have the right to approach things and, and question things and ask about questions. Ask about questions. Ask questions about why this doesn't feel right or why this is not working for me or doesn't feel, it just, it, it's going against the grain. You know that feeling? You just know, well, it's, ugh, it's not my way. But it's hard for you to be the one that has to stand up and speak, especially if you've been in a situation, maybe in a militant type of family where you've been very dominated by a parent um, or you've been raised in a religious family like I was and, you know, you aren't, you aren't to question. And, but, but right now, it's, 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 you're meant to be a rebel. You're meant to speak up. And it, well, well, it looks like in the movies, you know, you come rushing in like the, the knight in shining armor and you're going you're gonna to stand up and you're going to, you're going to, Tell everybody what you feel. It's one thing if you're an Aries and you're used to doing it. <laughs> but if you're not, if you're a more gentle, quieter person that you're, you know, you're, you're more, this would be difficult for you. It's, it's not as, as easy as, as it may seem, right? Now, there could be that you are the leader. You have been the leader and people want you to be the one that steps up, right? But you don't want to, you don't want to um, forcefully push your will upon anyone else, Right? They have to find their own way. So Spirit's giving us two things here. Now, this is the message that I got right away this morning. The first thing I said about a parent, this, this shy, quiet one that's met, really fucked things up, you know, and somebody's tried to you know, fix it for them, but then they're fucking it up again. So the message is, you know what? Let your kids live their own life. There are adults that are, have parents that are manipulating and interfering, and, and they thought, okay, well, I'm going to try and fix this. And you're not fixing it. You're making it worse. So step the fuck out and allow these ones to grow up. 
right? We can't control another. We can't make the choices for another, even though you think this is what should be happening. This would be in your highest good. Well, you know what? You did that already and you made a mess of it, didn't you? So allow them to find their way on their own. Allow the happy Buddha who's gone into isolation to figure his own way out. Don't be the one that's manipulating and trying to and control the situation. Well, I was just trying to be supportive. You know what? Then be supportive openly and honestly. Now, then you've got the one that's the, the, the one that's probably the child of the situation or, or an adult child in a situation in your life that has been with this parent or this role model that has been very controlling and they have a difficult time speaking up. It's hard for them, but they're still going to have to find their own way. They're going to have to, when the great wave of motion comes, go to the mountain, the spirit said, go into spirit, go to isolation, pull yourself away from the energy so you can make a decision and do it on your own. Because there are people that are lying, manipulating, and getting in the middle of things. And sometimes they feel like they're doing, you know, most of the time, people think they're doing the right thing. They're trying to help, but they're just fucking things up. You're not helping. And you, the one that decides to rebel, you're not going to be a rebel. You know, and you don't have to make a big stink about it. You don't have to go in there guns blazing and make a big scene. You can just do your own thing. Right? Walk alone. Walk away from the situation. Go to where there is truth and, and, and love and support and, and freedom. And walk away from blame, ridicule, control, judgment. So there's one of two things. You're being called to follow your own soul's path and do your own thing. And go on your own journey and find who and what it is that you love. And when you do this, I spoke about this, this uh, yesterday. I think one of my clients that, you know, yes, you have been uh, reawakened. And, and you're alone now. It feels like, man, my friends are falling away. I, look, I come back from where I was and I, and I look at my friends and they're not who I remember them to be. I don't feel comfortable there. And, and, and now I'm just like, I've got nobody. I've, I've walked away from what does it, wasn't in my highest good. Remember the one that was off your head? Yeah, I went off and I took off. And now I've come back and, dang, my old friends just don't feel right to me. And, and, and now I'm, and I said, yeah, you are. You're, you are alone. You're in that place. We all go through that transition. I did it too. You know, I left California and I, and I went to Wisconsin and then I went to Sedona. I was in isolation six months. And when I came back to California, things had changed. Things had shifted. For a little while, I tried to kind of blend in, and, 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 but it just wasn't working. I couldn't understand what was going on. But it was a separating work that was going on, and, and that's, it, it's what happens. We have a different path. We don't follow the same path. So you're going to find loneliness, but you're going to meet up with, with the same ones like you, the ones that others call rebels. You're going to connect with soul family, but first you have to stand on your own. So you've got to be truthful about who you are and what it, you wish to do with your life. You know, you don't have to, like I said, go in there and, and, and blow up the place and this is who I am and this is what I'm doing and fuck you and blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do that. But you do have to stand up and say, you know what? This is my life and I'm, I've made my choice and this is what I'm going to do and I'm out of here. You know, it's, it's what it is. There's going to be more support for you than you even realize. We always feel like we're by ourselves, but we're not. We need to open up and share what we feel. There's feelings that we've kept secret. We've been holding them inside. So when you do open up and share the truth of what you feel and how you feel, you would believe the support that's going to come flooding to you more than you realize. So that's the first message. Happy Valentine's Day. Because <laughs> it's about self-love. Right? It's about love yourself first. Boys, it's chilly in here. Um, correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. My boy settled down. All right. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Hold on. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. I got the wrong radio station on right now. I got that message loud and clear. You're giving the information to the wrong person, Sherry. Yep. And I've shut that down. No more. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Oh my. Well, <clears throat> you saw how many times I shuffled. Right? And we got the same message again. So double confirmation and just pay attention if you're not paying attention. Step the fuck out if you're interfering. Allow your people, friends, loved ones to make their own decisions. And one that has allowed other people to make your decisions, 
step back, get some clarity and truth, and learn to stand up and speak for yourself. You will be supported. You aren't out there in the cold. Okay? And for the ones that are reawakening, you're not going to be forever alone, but you do have to stand on your own for a while. You know? We all have to. We come into this world alone, we're going to go out of this world alone. We've got help while we're here, and we've got guidance while we're here, but, you know, don't stay in a cushy place that doesn't work for you because you're too afraid to strike out on your own and thinking that you're not going to be able to do it because you are. You can do anything you set your mind to. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. She was an angel creating... She was an angel craving chaos. He was a demon seeking peace. <clears throat> we all have that within us. I just saw that. Right? <sighs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. All right. Compassion. This is what uh, the word that I got this morning that I needed to show today was compassion. Compassion. So... <clears throat> empathy, simpatico, kindness. Let's look at the number 14. <clears throat> I'm clearing my energy. You know what's interesting? Nobody wants me to say what I'm saying, but my energy is going to say it anyway. I just, that's so funny. It's coming out anyway. When I'm told to say something, I'm going to say it. So deal with it. Um, so basically what is the number for number um, 14 goes very well with the picture that we see here. Because it's telling you to lean upon the angels to help you maintain a positive outlook. Because it's really difficult at this moment right now. And, and instead of going into a place of anger or fear, because you, you, know, you, you may be the one that's had this lying and manipulating happening in your life and it could easily piss you off. But don't do that because when we do that, we give that energy more fire, right? So pull back your energy and, and get happy and, and optimistic and positive and allow your, your, your demeanor to lift. When you do that, the situation shifts in your favor. The energy goes more in your favor. You don't want the, the energy to go to the, whatever the situation is that's causing you chaos, right? So that the way that you can do this is to be see the light within everyone. Okay, so why is this person lying and manipulating? Because they're insecure, right? They feel bad about themselves. They caused trouble. And instead of telling the truth, they figured they'll try and get their way out of it. You know, they're doing it all ass backwards. So feel sorry for them. You know, they've got a lot of lessons to learn. And unfortunately... No matter how old they are, they haven't seemed to learn their lessons yet. So let spirit handle it. Whatever the situation is, allow spirit to um, deal with the karma on, on, and, and allow the other people to deal with their own karma. Just, you know, recognize you got to keep your energy light. You know, step away. If there's a lying, manipulative person that's not learning, I don't have to sit there and be your buddy. I don't have to shower love upon you. I'm going to detach and love myself. So detach, love yourself. Have compassion and sympathy and kindness towards you, right? So, right now, there's a lot of suffering that goes on in the world. Look at this one holding up this, this one that's like a frozen stone. No, no feeling, no emotion, the, the, the life, lifeless, right? And... There, there's help for these ones. But at this time, the ones that have fallen, they're asking you to be there for them. Show them compassion. Show them empty. Show them um, that there is love, even though they walk around with an empty heart. There they are, stone. They have ugly hearts. Right? They're, 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 where, they're, where are their feelings? They're, they're nowhere. How, how can you do the things that you've done to people? How can you do this? But even these ones that have done these cruel things, they suffer too. So, God, there's so many messages I'm looking at here. Well, there's good within all of us, even if you've been this lying, manipulative one, right? There's good within you too. And maybe there's the forgiveness that needs to take place. Or maybe there's ones that refuse to take the love and compassion that's handed towards them. They And, and why? Because they don't feel they deserve it. So there's another message. Maybe this is you. I've fallen. I've been hurt. I've been, it's been awful. You know, I've gone through horrible things and I've done horrible things and, or maybe I've just been through terrible things and people have done this to me and I just don't have anything left. I'm exhausted. I feel like I've used up. I don't even know where my heart is anymore. 
And Spirit says, if you have fallen, you're going to be lifted and you will be helped and you will be nurtured and loved. You've had the life sucked out of you by someone. Look at this one. They've literally sucked the life out of me. Everything. I've, I've tried to give and give and, and I've got nothing left. Well, you know what? Allow yourself to be lifted. Allow yourself to be treated with love and respect. Allow yourself to be gathered up. And you know what's interesting is the ones that come to you to lift you and, and care for you, they're going to surprise you. It's not going to be who you think it is. Maybe you've been this cold-hearted person that's done something awful and you've fallen and, and who you have done these things to has been the one that's come to your aid. This one's been kind to you. Wow. So right now, you've got an opportunity to change your mind about something. You can change your mind about who you've judged. You can change your mind about whether you want to hold a place of anger because of what has happened or whether you choose to be compassionate. I was told that this morning because I because it's happened to me. The lies, the manipulation, the deception, it's, it was all crystal clear to me. And am I going to go into a place of anger or am I going to look at this person and realize, you know, they came from a place of sadness and upset and hurt and they lashed out and, and they need compassion and forgiveness too. Everybody does. God gives us the opportunity, all of us, to come back from a... You know, the comeback. Or maybe you feel like you're this one that's had everything sucked out of you, right? And if I remember, we've had that, what was it, one, two, three weeks ago, maybe when I was up in the mountains, how uh, there was one that I'm not going to go to my little five, two, five and a half, five, two and a half girlfriend. I use myself an example because I'm very little. You know, I'm six one. I'm not going to go to her and ask her for help. She'll think I'm weak. She'll think I'm ridiculous. She'll it's embarrassing. You know, I don't, I don't want to go and, 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 and say that I'm, I need help right now, this big, strong person. But you're not going to be judged as weak. You're going to be judged as human. We all go through this. We all have times where we've just given everything and they've sucked the life out of us. We've had times where we've, we've stumbled and we've, we've fallen off our path and, and then there's a hand that reaches out to us and come on, you know, take it. it. It's there for you. This person's standing there. I will help you up. That's why we're here. We take turns. Don't be a lone wolf. Realize that you're a part of a wolf pack. You're not going to be judged. Accept the help and you're going to get stronger. You need to recover. Maybe this is a time when you're the one who I, I spoke to this one yesterday whose uh, mother has died and she's feeling isolated and alone and you know, you, and you're just ba barely able to hold on. But you know, when I was in a place like that, whenever I get this way, I feel like, <clears throat> what can I do? It's like, um, whenever you're nervous, focus on service. That is one line that I like about Doreen Virtue that she always said. When you think about other people, you get outside of your own head and you stop worrying about what your own issues are. And you used to help others and it lifts your energy. This is a time when... Um, Help comes from unexpected sources. Spirit has been telling us that we've been having, uh, we're going to have divine intervention, right? So we've got so many different scenarios that are going on here. You're the one that's been sucked dry and you're afraid to allow anyone to help you, but allow yourself to be supported. Or you are this person and you don't think anyone's there, but Spirit's going to lift you. That's divine intervention. Or you have been one that has hurt somebody and it's your opportunity to help another. But don't do it deceptively. Step forward and speak your truth. Admit what you've done. If you want to help somebody, admit the truth of what you've done. Stop the, stop the backwards coming in the back door. You know, clean it up. You have the opportunity. There's so many messages in this. All right, I've got one more card that we're going to do. You know what Rick's really makes me... Oh, I'm not even going to go there. I'll just wait and see if it comes up. Wow, Sandy, my friend Sandy is showing me her jewelry. She's got the most beautiful jewelry. What is it? Oh, my God. Um, God, it's gorgeous. It looks like it's, oh my God, if this is Ruby, I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. Is that a beautiful set? Oh my God. I'm going to ask her what it is. It, gosh, that's incredible. What is it? Because that's probably a message that we're going to have to speak about. Um, so we're going to switch from the vampire deck and we're going to go to the divine circus because right now in my life, life is a fucking circus. 
It is. It really is. There is like, you know, there's the ringmaster in there and there's the magician and there's everybody doing all of these uh, tricks, sleight of hand and, 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 and behind the curtains. And oh my God, it's like, you know what? You know, masters of illusion all around me. I told you the, ma the magician can be an amazing magical person and the magician can be a fucking lying manipulative person. I'm not even going to say the word. It almost came out. The most wicked word that I've ever, ever heard in my life almost came out. And I'm not going there because that, see, that's, that's the energy trying to attach to me. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on a sec. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my favorite incense. This is Insight Incense from Sedona. It's my favorite. And I'm going to light it because I want some sweetness on this situation. It's Valentine's Day, right? I'm not going to be doing the overdose of candy myself because I'm trying to get myself uh, feeling a little healthier. You know, you can put that little bit of a softness, kind of a soft, cushy layer on in the winter, right? And you don't want that, especially in Cali. Um, there we go. But this, um, and you know, if you want to have a um, a treat, I've been doing this myself. If you want, if you really feel like the other night I said to my landlord, oh, I want, I want to have a, I, I, I want Oreo milkshake. And I'm thinking, okay, that goes against everything I'm trying to do for myself. And uh, so what I did is I got my chai tea. And it is, I got to show you guys this chai tea. I, seriously, if you want something today and you don't want to be worrying about a bunch of, putting on a bunch of weight, I, I, I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, so it's Cafe Escape Chai Latte, right? I love chai. It's my favorite. But I got these little stupid things. Those go in those little machines, but I just pour it in my, in my water. And I thought, oh, it, it is so decadent tasting. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. It's caramel. I mean, it's just, oh, my God. And it's, uh, so it's, there's, there's three different flavors in here. Caramel, mocha, and, and milk chocolate. Oh, I didn't even realize that. How funny. So, so far, I've clearly had the caramel. I haven't had the milk chocolate yet. Um, how interesting is that? Chai latte. So there's chai in all of it, which means there's spice in all of it. Anyway, so I thought, oh my God, it's probably so fattening. 60 calories. That's it. So that's what I'll be giving myself for Valentine's Day, right? Um, she says it's ruby in the unpolished form. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. Okay, so ruby. Um, where is it? I put it over here on my... No, here. Here it is right here. Here's my ruby. Can you see it? Wrapped around my goddess. And the rose quartz, I've been wearing this for the last several days. I just took it off today. But ruby, the color of love and passion, that's a perfect stone for Valentine's Day. So she's wearing it on the perfect day. Wow, it's incredible. So we do have a message. Um, woo! Ruby, okay. All right. So clearly it's the love stone, right? It's it's straight up. It's the first thing we want to talk about is, is the love stone. Um... And it's got different, you know, it's got different, there are different colors of rubies. You know, they go from light to dark. They're very fiery. That's like my energy, right? It's, it's the Aries energy. So let's take a look here. We'll put the, there we go. Um, so your ruby is, a, is, is a, not only does it speak of passion, but it speaks of protection and prosperity. It's a symbolization of the sun. So the divine masculine, right? Um... The metaphysical properties for, for Ruby, it, it's, it's, uh, it emanates the pure red ray. You know, they've got the, 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 gold, the, the rays, the seventh rays. Um, it's unsurpassed in the mineral kingdom. So it stimulates your base chakra. It increases your vitality and your chi. So that's your life force, your energy through your physical body as well as your spirit. It'll promote clear mind, increase concentration and motivation, brings a sense of power to the wearer, self-confidence, determination. It overcomes timidity and it moves you forward you know, towards achievement, prosperity. Um, I, I mean, she's going to be so excited when she, when she under, understands why her higher self chose this. It's clearly, it's the sensual stone, right? <laughs> it, you know, it, it initiates sensual pleasures of, of, into your life. It'll stir your blood and stimulate your heart. It encourages you to enjoy being in this physical world. Because my friend Stephanie right now, whose mother has just passed, she had a very difficult time being here in this moment. So it would be a beautiful, wear that color, wear the color ruby, Right? And, and enjoy the fact that you are here right now. It increases your desire and your sexual energy. It may be used to activate your kundalini because the kundalini rising up, um, associated with love, absolutely. But faithful, passionate commitment and closeness. That's why I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it for my twin, right? I've been wearing these 
for, for us both. The rose quartz, which is the pure, unconditional, most powerful love stone. And I, you know, this little green, light green stone, I don't know what that one is. I'm going to have to go and find out what that one is. I'm going to hit, hit the gem store again. Um, but it'll stimulate your heart. So, um, especially this, but, but commitment and closeness, you know, stimulating that love, that passion, the commitment. I, I, it's, it's a beautiful, I mean, ruby, I mean, clearly that's why they use the color red for Valentine's day. Um, so if you are feeling exhausted, if you're feeling, you know, like that one that we saw, that one that was barely able to hold on, right? Ruby can overcome exhaustion and leth lethargy. I would say lethargy. If you're feeling just, ugh, I don't have the energy, that will stimulate your energy. It'll amplify your energy and your vitality throughout your whole body. Um, so if you're very, very sensitive, be careful because crystals are very powerful. So they can overstimulate you if you are... So me, <laughs> remember yesterday, was, uh, what was the stone that I was speaking about that caused, it helped you with overstimulation because I was probably overstimulated. So I took mine off. My higher self already knows that. Isn't that interesting that I know that? Um, so what's interesting too, there's a balance between this because if you, you have hyperactivity, it'll act in the reverse. Now for me, um, maybe I took it off in order to, to give you that example, but for me, I'm the opposite of most people. If something would normally cause someone to be, like coffee or caffeine would cause normally people to, to, you know, be wound up. You know, somebody said something about the other day. I said, oh, I don't need any caffeine on my little, um, on my little video. I went out to breakfast with my landlord and, and this, this, this tea was filled with brisk, I think it was caffeine. And somebody said, yeah, you don't need caffeine. But caffeine doesn't affect me that way. It affects me the opposite way. It calms me. So if you have a child that's hyperactive, Ruby can can calm that energy. It's an aphrodisiac. Um, it helps you experience sensuality, a mystical communion. It would be a beautiful. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the crystals that are used in lovemaking, but they're um, they're called. I think they're called chinobs. Um, a ruby would be amazing. Um, it's the it's the it's the stone that you would give someone of a, a stone of honor and admiration if you're from a distance, like a courting stone. Definitely is something to wear during lovemaking. It'll help um, restore and maintain passion within your love, and increases the chances of conception if you're trying to if you're trying to have a baby. Um, it'll sharpen your mind, bring height, heightened awareness, promotes courageous attitude within you. Um, if you're going into battle, if you're that timid one that needs to st stand up and speak your truth, imagine yourself in a ruby, w w wearing a ruby shield uh, armor all around you, right? If you um, are, are afraid of psychic attack. If you're somebody who fears the paranormal, um, it helps you reduce that fear or the fear of evil. If you have difficulty sleeping and you have nightmares, it helps guard against psychic attacks or psychological attacks. So if people are fucking with your mind. You know, there's a lot of people that do that. <clears throat> we were talking about that one. I've just had the life sucked out of me or, or a parent that maybe manipulates your mind. Ruby's a, 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 a good stone of protection for that, for shielding. It protects your home from fire. It's interesting because it's the fire stone itself, right? And intruders. Um, it's a good wear, one to wear if you are at night and you want to remain dis, in a discreet, you know, not be seen. Um, <clears throat> it is used in watches. I, a lot of times I, you, you'll see a, a ruby, um, the little dial on the, on the side of the stone, it's a ruby. They use that um, in technology. They use it in medical instruments as well as um, lasers for microscopic surgery. So they're very, very for healing. It's a, it's, it strengthens your heart, um, your myocardium, your ventricles, the coronaries, stimulates your circulation clearly because it's a bloodstone, right? It's blood. It's the color of blood. So you think of it, you, you associate the colors with the things that it works with. Um, it'll help you regulate your period flows, your menstrual throes, or the pains that you're going through with menstruation. Um, good for reproductive organs, treatment of sexual dysfunction or impotency, um, infertility, if you're going through early menopause or you, you need any, any gynecological operations or things that you're dealing with as far as that, it's helpful. Pregnancy, good for older women. Um, <clears throat> it's good for, for while, while you're pregnant, helping the child form within you. Um, anything about detoxifying the blood or the lymph glands, treating fevers or infections, your, you know, helps with stimulating the adrenal glands, your kidneys, your spleen. Um, anything to do with circulation and blood flow. Anything to do with blood, it's going to help. It'll help assist weight regulation. So if you're somebody who's fluctuating or going up and down, um, if you're an emotional eater, you know, somebody, people, a lot of times people eat when they're sad, 
and it helps you with that. Um, it helps you allow the share, uh, sharing of love with another when you've possibly gone through past hurts. If you've been brought up in a very negative, toxic, angry environment, <clears throat> um, getting em emphasis on that, the clearing. Um, it helps you if you're, you've been this one that's just give, 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 giving, 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 giving. It still, you know, it helps you work with being a martyr. Stop being a martyr. Put on your shield of, of courage, right? Stop feeling that you need to uh, suffer. It helps you rise from a place of feeling in distress and, and encourages you to be more courageous and more positive moving forward, protecting your own self, you know, step up. It, it helps you step up if you've been threatened or, or mistreated or stand up for others who have been threatened whether they're friends or children or animals or whatever, it helps you be more courageous, protects these sensitive ones. You know, if, if you've got a, a distorted view of yourself, you know, I don't, I don't feel very pretty. I don't feel very loved or I, I you, you've, you're, you're not empowering yourself when you hold those feelings. So Ruby can help you. If you have excess water weight in your body. All right, I'm putting it back on. That is the one thing I do. I don't have a uterus anymore. I had a hysterectomy years ago because I had major problems with my, um, female organs and my, my uterus was taken out when I was quite young and uh, but I still my body still fluctuates to other women so if I'm around other people that are having a period I gain five pounds and it's water it's so frustrating so I put water weight on so I'm putting this back on I took it off I'm putting it back on because um, there's some things that I, you know needs to be for me too um, if you if you're feeling negative about yourself, this is a good stone for developing a more loving attitude towards yourself. So today on Valentine's Day, when you know I'm by myself, I don't have a date. You know, it's probably because I look like this, or you know, you know what? Imagine yourself wearing the most beautiful ruby red dress. Put on a ruby red dress. I'm wearing. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing black, but I've got rubies on. I'm wearing my tiger. Hold on. I wonder if you can see it on me. I'm wearing crystals. Right. I got my tiger on. Because why? Because I'm going to roar louder than a lion. <laughs> so put on your, your decorative clothing and, and, and you should see on the, on the back. If I could show you guys. What if I could show you? I think I can. I'm going to see. Look at this on my back. Can you see it? I'll, I'll put on something like that and be powerful. Right? Be powerful. Dance through the fires of your life, right? And allow them here, because you're a freaking champion. Remember, put on Katy Perry's roar and be the lion. You know what? Let's bring this lion forward. This lion is, is, is breathing beautiful, sweet scent. It's, it's saying wonderful things about itself. And look it. Oops, sorry. Let's, let's lighten this up a bit. There we go. There. There's the tiger with the, with the ruby love in her eyes. Right? Allow that to shine. Allow that to... As you're, as you're thinking about yourself and what you're going through today, follow your bliss, right? Go out of the darkness. Enjoy being in this world now. Master your thought. Take, take a hold of what's going on in your mind. Balance your energy because it's at the base chakra that, that, that this will help you. So it'll help you locate your spine, you know? It'll help you with your spine too. Anything to do with the kundalini. So if you've got issues with your spine. But, you know, self-confidence, fearlessness, a call to action, you know, Lift your enthusiasm up. Speed up your metabolism. Oh, I'm definitely putting mine back on, right? Color of passion, energy in life, motivation. Yay, yay, yay. Meditate with rubies. Meditate with rubies to be effective, you know? It helps you value your friends and family, even if they're boring. <laughs> it puts, puts a little life into and what is, what, where there's not life. You know, it'll bring, it'll bring about prophetic dreams and banish nightmares because we've already been told it will, it will help, um with the fear, right? So if you're not worrying about stuff in your dreams, then you're going to be able to remember your dreams. I had prophetic dreams last night. The ruby is the, what is the ruby of, uh, I think it's March, March 16th to the 20th is dark. Uh, I think I hold on a second. Let me see. March. No, ruby, 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 uh, ruby birth sign. Mine's the diamond. I'd rather have Herkimer diamonds. Uh, Sagittarius. Okay, so it's November, December. November 21st to December. Um, that's the Sagittarius. Well, it makes sense because it's a fire sign. Hello, Sherry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that one go. And we're going to do one more message. First, I'm going to put my, my necklace back on. I, ha I wanted to put my moonstones back on because I needed to tap into my intuitive side today and, and dispel the illusions that I was uh, connecting to last night. Um, 
So I, I, I haven't been wearing my moonstone and I need my moonstone. That's my stone, right? So I wanted to connect and also my mother's crystal. I wanted to put that back on. I needed to have guidance from my mom last night. So um, I put it on and, and I had the prophetic dream show up. Um, so correct for neutrality. We're going to do life as a circus and then I got to get working here. Ooh, that was pretty clear. Voice of an angel. We've had this when we were in the woods. When I was in my, uh, when I was in that uh, little glen that I worked with. Um, yeah, that just gave me a message. Glen. Um, the voice of an angel. That was just confirmation for me. So thank you, Spirit. I, I knew that already, but I just needed confirmation. <clears throat> um, okay. So here you see this one playing this beautiful guitar and she's got a crow or is it a raven? I prefer to say it's a raven in the top left corner and there's a raven in the bottom right corner. And so it's talking about, oh, the number 13. This is going longer today. I wasn't going to do the number 13, but I'll do the number 13. It's an ascended master, a specific one that's helping you right now, whichever the ascended master might be for you. And it's the 13, it's signifying that Female ascended masters and goddesses are assisting you. So a Kuan Yin, compassion. That's the goddess of compassion. Makes perfect sense because that's what Spirit said to me today. Show compassion today, Sherry. Right? So if you've got something to say right now, Spirit says they want you to express it. This is about singing. Birds sing, and that's that's speaking the truth. So you need to speak out what you need to, what it is that you need to say that you've not been hold that you've been holding in. You've got something that needs to be expressed right now. Now it doesn't. How you express it depends on what, what your thing is. Are you a musician? There's a song that wants to come out. Are you an artist? There's something that needs to be created. I'm working with crystals. Whatever it is that's within you, it want, it's wanting to be expressed at this time. And if you don't allow yourself to work, like today I'm going to work with crystals. <clears throat> That'll help me. I haven't done it for a little while. When you feel like you're blocked, it's because you're not expressing yourself. You're not able to move forward. You feel stuck. Why am I stuck? Because I'm not expressing my truth. I'm not expressing what, what, what's inside of me. Maybe my, my, I always go to my friend Tracy. She goes to, to karaoke. Anyone want to go to karaoke? You know, you go to karaoke and, you know, you get the guys up there and they're like awful. And it's so funny. But it's like they're up there expressing themselves. It's healing. There's something that needs to come out in you. <clears throat> Clear something. Something needs to be cleared up. The air needs to be cleared up. I keep clearing my throat. Something needs to be cleared up. There's a misunderstanding. There's confusion. Something needs to be cleared up. Maybe the truth just needs to be told. Um, there's, you know, right now, you're tapping in. So if you're unsure or you're not quite certain about what's going or you feel like you're blocked, right now, this is coming forward because they're saying you need to find your true voice. The, the ravens are coming out of the void. This is magic and miracles. It's around you. You are assisted. You don't see them around you, but they're there. Trust and have confidence in yourself. Remember? If I could take it off again, I would give you my ruby necklace and I'd wrap it around you. But you need to have confidence in yourself. Here, I'm going to give you my, my native, my beautiful native beads. I'll give you these. Now imagine these as rubies, as crystals. Okay, this is what spirit's going to do. They're going to wrap that around you. They're going to give you that courage and strength to come forward and speak your truth and, and step forward and create. This is not the time to be quiet. This is not the time to hold yourself back. This is not the time to allow anyone else to speak for you. This is about you speaking for yourself. It's safe for you to speak your truth. It's safe for you to express yourself in whatever way you want. Get up there and sing that song. Go out there and give that speech. I'm scared. I've got, I've got, a, I've got an interview. You, you know what? Put yourself in a ruby outfit and see yourself surrounded by rubies and put on that shield of courage and get up there and, and express yourself. Show them who you really are. Step into your power. Don't, don't think that others can do a better job than you can. Don't allow another to speak for you because maybe I, I, I don't know what to say. Or, nobody can do it the way you can do it. Nobody is supposed to do it the way that you do it. You're supposed to do it in your own unique way. Maybe you'll stumble, but it's going to be the truth coming from you. Right? Right now, it's the time has come. Or maybe it's about to come where you're going to speak your truth. You're going to step up. You're going to... Go out there and make that, um, you're going to go out there and, and, and pitch that idea. You're going to go out there and it's coming. If it's not right here now and they're asking you to do it right now, it's soon going to happen. But whatever it is, you, action is required in order to attract the opportunities into your life. Whatever it is that you want, physical and material, even spiritual. If you're somebody who's been working you know, with your spirituality and maybe it's time to go out there now and start speaking up. Sharing your knowledge with others. You've, you've, it's, you're not going to help anyone if you keep it to yourself. 
So put your hand on the base of your throat with your fingertips. This is your throat chakra. Imagine a ruby at your throat to assist you and say, my voice is the expression of my spirit. I trust in my inspired ideas to bring life into my world, my spirit life for the greatest good. I am assisted by divine love, protection, grace, empowerment in all ways so that I am able to voice my truth. Thank you. I can do this. You are going to use your voice. You are going to use your voice. Listen to me clearing my throat <clears> constantly. <clears throat> constantly. Aries today was told, Aries, use your throat. Use your throat. Speak. Speak up. Say what it is. I got no problem doing that. Maybe you're a little bit embarrassed or might, you might feel a little bit silly at first doing it. You know, when you get up there and go to sing and your voice cracks. Or, you know, have you ever seen, I'm, I, I was a Jehovah's Witness. I talk about it all the time. And these, <clears throat> we would have to go up onto the platform and give a talk. It was only six minutes, but it felt like a hundred years. And you'd have to stand in front of the entire congregation to give a talk. Now, the sisters, which is what the women were called, would sit at a table and they would do it between two people, like having a conversation. So we had a little bit of a shielding. We also got to sit behind a table. But the brothers, they had to stand right up at the podium and face the audience. I've done that too. I've also gone to door to door. You've had Jehovah's Witness come to your door, right? And you're annoyed at them and you slam the door in their face. Do you have any idea how hard it is for them to do that? Have a little compassion. No, I'm not backing... And I'm not a Jehovah's Witness and I would never do it again because I feel if I don't have to go knock on your door. Um, I'm doing my work right now. But they think they're doing their what, what is in their highest good. They think they're, they're helping you. They're doing what they feel is best for them and for you. So don't slam the door in their face. Have a little bit of compassion. It's very difficult to do that. Imagine you having to do something like that. I was a little girl on the corner in, in the rain in North Vancouver. Vancouver. Downtown Vancouver under the Odeon Theater. I remember standing on the street corner with my Watchtower and Awake magazines and people going by and, and, and spitting at me and, and making nasty comments. I was a little girl. I was seven years old. Have a little bit of compassion. It's the same situation. You have to stand up there now in front of everyone and you need to speak and everyone's looking at you. Oh my God, oh my God. And you know there's that song, um, she's, she's not afraid. Um, she says, she's not very good at waiting. She's not very good at waiting. Maybe I should step up. She's not very good at waiting. Maybe I should step up and do some confessing. Okay, remember that song? It's somebody that, that's watching. Maybe I should... Hold on. This all has everything to do with this message. Step up and do some... Sorry, I'm doing this with one finger. Although I can't type much faster than this anyway. Um, what is the song? Lyrics. Uh, maybe I should step up and do... She knows that I watch her. That's what it is. She knows I watch her. She knows I watch her. Lyrics. <laughs> uh, well, if I could spell confessing any idea, any, any way at all, the way it's supposed to smell, to be spelled, it, Google might have a clue about what the hell I was trying to say. Um... Oh, I wish I could think of what it is. But basically, I can't think of it right now. Is um, I watch her and she knows it. That's it. I watch her. And she knows it. My head hurts. Lyrics. Okay, so somebody's nervous. They got a headache. I got, I got a headache in my third eye. Um, Sean Mendez, there's nothing holding me back. Good God. <laughs> so here, there's nothing holding you back. Not if you hold on to your ruby, right? So here's the lyrics. And this is, now imagine this in every one of these situations. I want to follow where she goes. I think about her and she knows it. I want her to let it can take control because every time she gets close, she pulls me enough. Pulls me in enough to keep me guessing. And maybe I should stop and start confessing, right? Speak up. I've been shaking. I love it when you go crazy. You take all my inhibitions. There's nothing holding me back. You, um, nothing holding me back. She says she's never afraid. Just picture everybody naked. She really doesn't like to wait. She's not really into hesitation. Pulls me in enough to keep me guessing. Maybe I should stop and start confessing. So here's what's going on. You've got two different personalities that we were speaking about, right? The shy one. This is the rebel at the beginning. I'm not used to speaking up, you know, and then you've got the rebellious one. You've got two. You've got fire and water together, right? But Imagine yourself surrounded in a ruby cave. You're going to stand up and you're going to start speaking. And you don't have to be embarrassed. You're going to probably be a little bit embarrassed. You're probably going to stumble over your words. But you know what? It's going to make you more adorable. When people, when the brothers would get up there and the young ones, oh, when the young ones would get up there and they would speak and, the, and, and, and their voice would crack. 
Do you think we made fun of them? Oh, I'm getting choked up right now. We, we didn't make fun of anyone because we all imagined what it felt like to be that one up there and we just loved them and their faces would get red, you know, and they would stand there. You can imagine a little one in school, standing up in school, right? And, and confessing. It's like, you feel like you're on trial and you've got to get up there and you got to, I got to give my speech, but you know what? No one's judging you. You are judging yourself. And yes, it is hard. It's hard to make a speech at work. It's hard to pitch it to a new boss. It's hard to ask a girlfriend out on a date. You know, for the first time, it's hard to um, admit when you've done something and you've got to confess something. It's hard. It's, it's hard. But spirit's going to help you. Spirit's got their arms around you. They're gently helping you. So even if you feel a little bit silly or a little bit embarrassed, allow yourself to laugh at yourself. If you fall, my best friend has a little girl named Grace. And she's a little actress. And she says she goes up there to, to do her little part and she totally bit it. Fell flat on her face and she laughed. She laughed so loud that everyone laughed. Then don't laugh at, at you know, laugh at yourself so everyone laughs with you. They're not laughing at you. We've all been there. And we're laughing because we remember. It's like, oh my God. Right? So when you can get up there... And, and, and give yourself reasons to speak. Sing. Sing. Do what you need to do to stimulate your throat chakra. What can you do to open up your, your throat chakra so that you can be creative? And it isn't just necessarily in speaking. It's just being, in, it's being creative. Your throat chakra is attached to your ears. Okay? So stimulate your throat chakra. Sing. Allow yourself to clear the way the self-doubt, any shame or the silencing from your past. Maybe you're someone who has a hard time speaking up because when you, were, when you spoke up when you were young, you were told to be quiet. Now it's hard for me to speak up. Or if you spoke up, maybe you had a lisp and people made fun of you. Or if you spoke up, you said the wrong thing. I open my mouth and I insert, I, my insert my entire leg. And so you're afraid to do it again. I tried with her. I said this once before and I blew it. You know what? Try again. Spirit's telling you right now, today's a different day. This is Valentine's Day. Love yourself enough to go after what it is that, that you deserve and allow spirit to help you. You're surrounded. You're protected. Look at all the crystals around you. Reach for the stars. Create. See the beauty in yourself. I love this. I think I should wear this today. I think I will. I love you guys.